Good evening to everybody and welcome on Fashion Channel and welcome in the city of Paris for Paris Hot Couture, the most exciting and amazing days of the year. So let's go together at the fashion shows and behind the scene to discover together the next Autunivere collection. Come on! personal experience and your personal relationship with this great Maison? Oh, well, um, I had the extraordinary joy of wearing Iris to the Met Gala several years ago, um, and it was the most remarkable, moving, mo emotional experience to create it together and then to perform it. to celebrate our 15th anniversary a great collection please tell us something about the meaning of this collection for you um, the collection is inspired by post-humanism and also hyper-reality so it dives into the future and at the same time I found inspiration in a very old poem written in the 8th century by Ovid called Metamorphosis and it talks about the uh, human body in transformation uh, and I feel it's a very relevant topic again now with the metaverse at our horizon and um, it's a very um, timeless question but who are we beyond our physical bodies? That's really the question I wanted to explore in this collection. What is the meaning of metaverse and the relationship between this new kind of reality and the fashion system for you? Um, I think the metaverse is going to add another layer of reality to our physical reality. And that interaction can be very creative. Uh, it can create new ways of storytelling and new ways of creating an experience. So I'm very excited about that. What's your name? And my name is Daria. Where do you come from, Daria? I'm from Ukraine. Is it your first time in Paris? Yes, it is. How old are you? I'm 20. You're so young. How many shows are you going to do in Paris? This time I think around six, maybe a bit more. I think so, because uh, haute couture, um, for me, it is um, kind of uh, like for designer, they prepare for so long to, and uh, it presents the elegance and the more like, a, how do I say, more like a cultural things. But ready to wear is more like a lifestyle. That's what I think, because they're always changing every year, but haute culture is always based on the basic classic things yeah. and then do some more, like connect with different culture things. Can I ask you your favorite uh, couturier? Haute couture? Yeah. It's hard to say. <laughs> okay. It's hard to say. Every brand have a really nice pieces. I have to say, yeah. yeah it, every brand have nice pieces. Ah. So. Okay. Another question. The most uh, difficult uh, moment on a couture catwalk for your experience is it happen something like a very difficult dress oh, or well, very difficult shoes? Yeah, shoes is the biggest problem as well. And then it's the long dress. For example, the dress is too long, we have to wear really high heels, which is more dangerous than usual. So basically, it's all about shoes. Yeah. Have you ever fallen down in a pain of No, never. No. But uh, twist a little bit, like like swiggling, swiggling a little bit. Yeah. Swinging a little bit, yeah, yeah. okay. Tout ce qu'on aurait pu faire, comme 
la vie entière. We uh, create our designs, uh, embroidery. We everything swing by our hands. Uh, we use a lot of uh, chiffon, like can fly, like the butterflies. We painting the elements. Uh, we, we can see the uh, butterflies, which is element of uh, one model, which we are painting. So a lot of art, uh, which we show in our designs. Thank you so much and uh, we wish you all the best uh, thank you so and much. thank you so much. We are so amazed, so exciting for the show. Thank you so much. Exciting. I hope you like it. <laughs> Been a very beautiful travel around the world of nature, around the wonderful places. What about the techniques you have used to make all these uh, shapes uh, around the dresses? So uh, I use cording technique. Uh, I have chosen cording technique because uh, I don't want to waste fabric. It's like a zero waste technique when I use cording. And when I use Indian textile, the, these are really, really soft fabrics. So uh, give them shapes, I make these cording techniques and uh, of course the textures. We can say that it's a, a sustainable uh, haute couture collection. Yeah, it's it's really sustainable haute couture uh, collection because when we make these fabrics, we support uh, 900 families in uh, uh, villages, different villages, and 85% women we were uh, are making these beautiful fabric. And whatever is the leftover, I use it for uh, the texture, so it goes back to the garment. So it's completely zero waste and sustainable. Yes. <laughs> Tony Ward, what a great pleasure for us to meet you here in Paris for Hot Couture Fashion Week. Please tell us something about uh, your collection. Well, you've just seen it. It's a, it's a couture collection. I'm happy to be back to Paris. It's an optical illusion collection all about lines. What about the techniques and the materials you have used for, uh, for your uh, dresses in the We've we used uh, a we lot of uh, organza, a lot of chiffon, a lot of uh, uh, lace and a lot of embroidery. Is it uh, the hot couture change in the last few years according to your opinion, uh, in particular in this uh, strange period of a fashion system? Hot couture is becoming more and more niche, so uh, less clients, less maison de couture, which means a lot of more work. What does the city of Paris mean for you, for your creativity, for your inspiration? Paris, uh, this is where I started and this is where I would like to continue. That's the place to be. Raoul Mishra, thank you so much for uh, the invitation to your great uh, couture uh, show. Please tell us uh, something about uh, the precious techniques uh, you have used to realize uh, these wonderful dresses. So the inspiration of the collection was uh, tree or tree of life, how you call it. Because tree is not just uh, of life, tree is for life also because and I try to capture the moment when sun, you know, uh, in the golden hour, falls on the tree and changes into gold.
was very positive vibes in Paris in these days, but tell us something about your collection. We can start uh, by this beautiful so this dress. This is one of my favorite pieces, and the whole collection is inspired by the sky and the cloud, the grace and the beauty, at the same time the power of the sky. It has all the elements that has the secret of life. Uh, so for us, the clouds inspired by the volume. So you will see we have a lot of volumes in our designs. And this is, uh, we use natural materials. I'm big in sustainability and respecting the planet. And uh, everything we do, we are conscious about making sure we do it the right way for, you know, for the art and also for the planet. So for this style, we use 100% Mikado, self Mikado, the same for the dress. And as you see, the volume is carried through the whole collection. And we have beautiful models that can showcase our beautiful designs. Then I talk with you too, stay here. How are you? Great. Okay, you, what's your feeling now? The show is starting. Amazing, so excited. So excited. What about this dress? Is it comfortable? Yeah, so much and I can feel it is so good quality. I love it. It's so long so you can see the... Okay, show us, show us. Okay, wow, perfect. <laughs> Hello, my dear Hi. friend. Uh, what a pleasure to meet you in Paris Haute Couture. Yeah, it's Paris for Haute Couture this season for Alex and me. We created a, the beautiful thick hair. Alex is a, is a genius. He's created beautiful clothes. The style for the, the girls is a little bit 16 with a beautiful hair, a big wave, but not too much, not too much, super soft. Really 16, 16, but with a new texture. And a sparkling look for her. Yeah, exactly, I think it's a, it's a really good idea. We have the, the small things, the small diamonds on her. Uh, on stage, on the light, it's uh, just amazing. Hello, what's your name? My name is Harriet Paul. First of all, you are very beautiful. How do you feel with this uh, hairstyle? Thank you so much. I feel so beautiful. I feel like an 80s supermodel. I feel like Naomi Campbell maybe. <laughs> and Alexi and the hair and makeup team did such a good job executing this look. And I feel, I feel cool. Can't wait to walk the runway. The collection is all about divas. So it's more uh, an attitude thing. Um, it's not, um, I mean, a collection which is just exclusive for one kind of woman. It's for everyone. I mean, we, we cast girls with very different personalities coming from a lot of different countries. And even the clothes, you know, is more worth the collection as a red carpet, as if we dress celebrities. So, uh, so that's why you will see like volume, straight skirt, different colors on the runway. And we asked the girl to, to play and to have fun and to turn and twirl and to show their body and to assume they are power girls and being sexy. Do you have a favorite celebrities? You dress a lot of celebrities in the most famous yeah. red carpet all over the world. I, I have, a, I have a, <laughs> It's not about favorite, you know, but there is girls with who I work a lot, French actresses like Berenice Bejo or Dita Bontis who have uh, become best friends and because I'm doing costume for her and I dress her since a long time. No, I love this idea about girls who are so uh, different and, uh, and when we work together on the look, it's a mix of my work and their personality to make it happen. You know? And when the result is good, when you see her, you're like, wow, she's beautiful. And then, you know, you know it's because of the look too, but it's all part of, of one collaboration. Of course, your personal, uh, personal question, Alexis, yeah, the meaning of uh, couture dress uh, for you, for your experience, for your uh, personal uh, attitude. For me, I have, the, I have the habit of couture dress. So, but I mean, like, it's, it's really uh, intense in terms of, it's very emotional, because it's a process. When a client comes to couture, there is a process of doing the, choosing the drawings, or the piece of the show, doing the fittings, um, to do alteration, to, uh, to make her, her body the most beautiful uh, and, uh, and then getting this uh, intimate experience we have until uh, the dress is ready. So for me, this is couture. 
So it's not just about the show of it's sub, of course, we, do, we show long dresses, etc. But it's not just about this. It's Thank more you. about yeah. this, uh, this uh, delicate uh, relationship we have with, uh, with a woman. Wonderful. Surely it would be a great fashion show as usual. Thank you so much, Alexis. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. My fashion model and my collection will will be more picante, oh, okay. more spicy. Dan spicy. spicy, dangerous, creative. Imagine you are in the sky and all the fashion that will fall down to for redemption the world. Okay. So she, they are like super heroine. Okay. She is very powerful, but a little bit more dangerous. There is a, uh, we see uh, the, the, this uh, great it's piece on the wall. It's, it's a piece of art. Done with uh, Adrian Collin. He, he worked the glass like no, uh, no one in all over the world. Oh, He's good. a real artist, and it's a combination yeah, between my design, uh, his know how, and it's, she's sort of gorgona. She's dangerous, and be careful, man. And, uh, and a strong, a strong woman. And a, a strong woman. I mean, really empowerment. Strong. She's a symbol of empowerment. Empowerment. We like this word. Yes, we love when we need that. As you, you look so <laughs> powerful. Thank you. So I want to show the dark side of Julian Fournier House wow. this amazing, season. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. With us, is Julian Fournier. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye bye. Thank you. Chiara, Chiara, this way. Yes. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the magic of the magic of Alexandra is that he makes beautiful, sexy, powerful. You know, clothes that look great in an editorial, but also look great like this on. So, and that's the thing of fashion: make it wearable, but make it fucking sexy as hell. What a great fashion show! Thank you so much. A spectacular fashion show. Very sexy woman. Just a few words about your couture collection. Oh yeah, you know, I want something super radical and uh, with a um, strict vocabulary, very visible and. Uh, you know what, it's like a game, when you prepare a collection, you know, when you work with a métier d'art and everything, you know, you're, it's like a challenge, you know what, I want so, so, something super uh, direct and always with the DNA of the house, you know, taking care about the beauty of the, of the woman, this uh, right balance between elegance and sexiness, and uh, I love to work like this. What about your idea of beauty? Of beauty and your idea of women. Uh, that, that is a strong color. I'm a huge fan of clan for sure. That's why. And uh, uh, I just have a dinner at a friend house and I saw something super special from clan and uh, it gave me the idea. You know, creation is about everything and everywhere. So I took this idea and I think the strong color and that is in parallel with the vocabulary I want to put on a runaway. Thank you so much, you're great, Alexandra, as usual. Thank you so much. about the last, uh, the last, uh, the last, uh, the last uh, dress, uh, yes, uh, uh, like I, a dream. I would like to make something different, uh, the color is different, a little bit champagne with gold, 
it's uh, nice, you know, because it's uh, we see now in the Instagram, uh, all the wedding dresses are, are coming like the same. I make something different. How much time to write this? It's like one year. All the day, all the time. I'm, I'm working every day, every week, every month, <laughs> every year like that. No day, well, no one day to, uh, like, uh, like uh, off. Every day I'm working. I'm, I'm, I have like new sketches, new uh, fabric, new uh, um, uh, idea about uh, fashion. I'm, I'm not stopped. I'm trying to do my best all the time. And your dresses are uh, always a uh, great dream for all the women. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. I hope thank I you. can do something very special next time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. the last time you told me all the women want to be a, uh, want to be a princess uh, for a few moments in her life is it yeah. true yeah it's true I always in my career always I want uh, I hear it a lot from women when they when I make a dress for them they say for once I really felt a princess and that is such a nice feeling um, my dresses I like to make them light because when you're and when you have a really party or you go to a red carpet then you really want a light dress and you want to feel comfortable in it and always had eh, the, the models are all, always happy with the dress to wear Pleasure, Mr. Saab. It's always a great dream. Your couture collection. Tell us something about the balance yeah, between uh, the color, shapes, yeah. uh, and uh, light in your collection. Uh, honnêtement, pour moi, l'essentiel que les clientes sont contentes. Et as vu comment ils sont dans la salle. Tout le monde a admiré la collection. Et vraiment, ça, c'est la chose la plus importante pour moi. Parce que c'est cette chose qui qui me motive beaucoup. Et, Le joie des clients qui, qui aiment la collection, il me met sur une, euh, notre, euh, notre monde, vraiment. How many hours of uh, work to realize uh, one dress? A, a lot. A lot. Beaucoup de heures de travail euh, il y a sur, sur les habits. Mais c'est notre spécialité de faire les choses. Your personal idea of uh, haute couture, what does it mean for you? Couture means, what does it mean for couture? It's the luxe, the exclusivity, the beauty, the wow. Wow, and your collection is absolutely wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Sam. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Morand. It's a great pleasure for us to meet you at this uh, amazing Paris Haute Couture Fashion Week. Please tell us something about uh, these uh, great days in Paris. Yeah, we, we, but we are, we, we are happy that you now everybody, just all the shows can take place. And we are in a good situation and uh, and we have great shows. We have great shows for, fa for the Menswear Fashion Week. So now everything has, uh, is back to normal, but even, even more than normal because we have still the digital around that. So. We can say that people are coming from uh, all over the world uh, for uh, to, yeah, from to all see over the world. So for some, some region of the world, not for the different reasons we know, but uh, but globally, everybody's here. And all many, many, many are here. Everybody would like to be here in these days. Would like to be room. here or can be here is here. Thank you so much, Mr. Moran, and enjoy these wonderful days. Thank you. Thank you. 
Vai, 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 Bea, vai. And Trump. Now we go. Just a couple of words. Yeah? Okay, perfect, thank you. Alexander, what a great fashion show, a very sexy, sensual. Of course, of course. Okay, okay.